guys, I thought it might be fun to make a short video to show you what I've got in my goalie bag right now. Feel free to leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I'll be posting all of my GoPro goalie videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'll, I'll start off with is my Gary carrier. Um, for pickups and such, I've started bringing so much crap to the net that I actually uh, decided that it made sense to just carry it all in one big thing instead of trying to lug it all in my arms. So of course, uh, you know, your traditional Gatorade bottles, um, Edge Protex, super important when you're, when you're playing pickup. They're, they're fantastic for saving your blades. Um, I also bring my GoPro to the net uh, using that carrier. Of course, I'm using my GoPro to film this right now, so uh, I can't really show you that, obviously. So um, I'm a big fan of foam core sticks. Uh, my game stick, if you want to call it that is uh, this Warrior. It's gorgeous. It came from, it's a Total Hockey exclusive uh, in my team color scheme. Uh, it's even got the, the stripes on it. Yeah, looking good. Um, and then my backup stick, this is also the primary stick I use when playing pickups. Um, really just because I don't want to do too much damage to my nice stick for pickups, so I just use this, this one. But either way, these, these Warriors are fantastic. Both of them are the quick curve, size 26. Moving on to the light pads. These are Brian's S-Series light pads. So these are the low-end light pads from Brian's from a couple years ago. They were originally white, black, and silver. Uh, as you can see, they're now white, black, and red. Uh, good old pad wrap um, has done a, a great job to cover up the silver. Um, first thing I should point out is um, in order to hang them on my bag, the, the bag has some plastic hooks on it. I actually have these, uh, just the leather strap, just hanging out in here. So I can undo it before the game. So I'm not actually leaving this on during gameplay, but it, it's there to hang from. Um, as far as other things I've done to these pads, so you can see here, this is a, this is a pretty standard looking tow bridge. Um, it is custom made though, because uh, the screws are only two inches apart. Um, most traditional goalie pads, the screws are going to be around three inches apart. So I actually had to get these cu custom made for me. And I had these made because uh, the pads originally came with a uh, standard toe bridge with some laces. Hated that. So I went ahead and replaced that with a sliding toe bridge. Hated that as well. So uh, I went to the Brian's Smart Toe Straps. Those were fantastic for the most part. The issue with them was that um, the elastic wasn't great on them. And also they had uh, a terrible plastic piece at the end of the elastic that would actually um, curve the elastic upward so that they'd have a tendency to come apart. Uh, so I really wasn't happy with those. So I've actually replaced these with uh, HAL straps from Monster Hockey. Um, so they are shock cord, um, nice durable uh, elastic, no stupid plastic caps for them to fall off. Um, They've done a great job. These things are fantastic. Um, they save your ankles. Uh, highly recommend them for any pad. Uh, other modifications. Um, I have some boot risers on here. So these help the pad lift up a little bit, uh, get a little better five hole coverage for in the butterfly, my terrible butterfly. So that helps a lot there. I've also added uh, double width knee straps. Um, I had a lot of issues with the knee straps. Um, stretching out and then I'd end up slipping off the, the landing pad. So I have these nice Brian's double thickness straps. Uh, they've been really great. So that's it for the pads. Go ahead and dump those. Okay, so next up is the bag itself. Uh, it's a grit sumo bag. Um, these things are massive. Uh, if you don't have a car that can carry such a huge bag, um, I don't recommend them. But for me personally, they work out really, really well. So because it's so big and it holds everything in separate compartments, I'm never going to forget anything because everything has its own little place. Um, the pads hang on these little hooks on the top and we have these elastic straps that hug them to the bag. Uh, they also on the sides have spaces to hold your sticks. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, of course I've got the bottle opener uh, that comes in handy after every game of course. It's open. So let's start with the mask. Uh, this is a Bauer Enemy 8 mask, um, painted by Brian Schott. 
uh, up in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Um, he's done a great job of uh, putting in the graphics from our jerseys, our, our logo, uh, my number, name on the chin, of course, uh, Rebel logo at the top, his logo on top as well. Uh, of course, it's a trap, being Akbar, of course, it's a trap. Uh, Canadian Leaf, because I'm Canadian, and the GGSU logo, because why not? Uh, inside is the standard foam. Um, however, I am using the Monster Hockey uh, Cool Band. So this band, obviously, it's very hard right now, but once you soak it in water, it uh, softens up, and this thing stays cool the entire game. It's, it's incredible. It soaks up all the sweat, and it keeps you cool. The, the material itself, I don't know how it works, but it works. Uh, really keeps you cool. I'm also using uh, outsider straps, so that allows me to have the, the straps on the mask while still showing off the, the back plate. So, um, very happy with my mask. Uh, love the way it fits, um, powder coated cage, really couldn't be happier with this thing. Next we'll take a look at the skates. Uh, these are VH custom skates. Um, I jumped on these after wearing a pair of low end reactors for a while, they started to break down. Um, after spending a lot of time and a lot of money buying player skates that didn't seem to fit or that hurt my feet. Um, I decided that once the reactors broke down and I decided I really liked playing gold, that I would go straight to custom. Um, so these were custom molded for my foot, sent in tracings. Um, they even built around a few bumps that are on my feet. So these are beautiful. Um, currently have just plain white Bauer cowlings. I actually have a set of black Bauer cowlings that need to go on here, uh, as well as some black step that needs to go on here as well. Um, Nothing special other, otherwise. Uh, Lundquist loop, I do use that. Um, and just my red laces for to, to match my team. Um, first thing that comes out, team jersey. Uh, this thing was done by Rebirth Sports. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, I think we have the, the best jerseys in our league. Uh, Admiral Akbar with the uh, Chicago headdress on. The uh, the lightsabers with the A. Uh, really couldn't be happier with the way this thing came out and I can't recommend Rebirth Sports enough for this thing. It, it's beautiful. Uh, Maltese neck guard. Um, done it again in red with the Chicago black and white stripes. Uh, red logo, I asked for that to be offset on the side like this. Um, this is the, uh, the one and a half inch um, with no dip in the front. Uh, standard collar. Um, it's not the, the more protective version, it's just the standard one. Uh, custom fit to my neck size, so when you order them you can custom fit the, the circumference of your neck. Um, and this thing has saved me at least once already. Uh, I took a shot a few weeks ago right to the neck. Um, it could have been really bad, so uh, thank you Maltese for saving my ass. Next we'll take a look at the pants. Pull the stuff out of here. Again, this bag is fairly tight to fit everything in, so I stuff a few things in, into the pants. Um, so these are just Bauer pants. Uh, they're they're not the highest end. I think they're 180s or you know like one or two steps from from the highest level. But I was looking for the Chicago stripes. Um, they seem to be impossible to find. I considered just buying a shell and wearing that over top. Um, but then uh, the goalie crease in Toronto, Canada, uh, happened to have a set of these. Um, oddly enough, normally the, the only customized the top end, the NXGs, but for whatever reason they had some lower end pads that had the Chicago stripes, so I jumped on that because I don't really care for the top end pads. I find them too restrictive and bulky. So these have worked out great. Um, I do wear suspenders. These are actually youth suspenders. Um, it's funny because the, the difference between the youth and the senior suspenders uh, isn't actually length. Um, I don't know why the senior, they're both the same length. Uh, the difference is the youth suspenders don't have a lot of stretch to them at all, which I actually prefer. Otherwise, it feels like my pants are falling down the whole time if there's a lot of stretch to them. So I actually wear the suspenders uh, under my chest protector. 
Next we'll look at the chest protector itself. Uh, this is a Paso chest protector. Um, Tim McCarthy at Paso was amazing to work with. Um, I had this thing made actually in my old colors, black, white, and silver. Uh, I kind of wish I had waited six weeks before I changed teams, um, and I would have a, a black, red, and white one instead. But either way, that's, you know, it's under the jersey, so I'll deal with it. Um, this is the standard model. This is not the Pro Pack, but it does have some pretty significant protection to it. Um, even the, the rib cage area uh, even has these extra pads on them. Um, the arms, they actually uh, shortened the arms, the cuff of the arms themselves. Uh, I was finding that the distance between my elbow and the wrist, for me, whatever for whatever reason, is actually shorter than a lot of people. So they actually cut down the end of my uh, the arm pads uh, rather than trimming the top end. And it just makes the elbow cup sit exactly where I need it to. Now the nice thing here is that notice that the padding goes all the way up to the cup. It's great for the modern style for where you might have your glove up uh, in a BH position, for example. Um, so you don't have to worry about getting a puck to the, the underside of the arm. Um, this thing is an absolute tank. Uh, name is on it. That's great. Um, I've taken a lot of shots uh, from some pretty decent players, some pretty decent slap shots, and I don't feel a thing. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, the nice thing with this unit is it actually has eyelets. I don't know if you can see that. It actually has eyelets at the, bo the bottom edge of the belly pad. Um, so you can add an extension if you want, which I'm actually planning on doing. Um, I ordered this fairly short, specifically because my old Bauer chest protector was very short as well, and I liked it that way. I liked it so that when I'd go into a crouch, the bottom of the belly would actually just touch the top of my thigh. That seemed perfect to me. Uh, however, because of the way this unit is constructed, where this middle belly pad kind of floats in between, this actually gets caught in my pants sometimes. So I'm having them construct me a piece that goes all the way across. And it's only about an inch, but it'll keep it from getting caught on my pants. Um, tie down strap. If you tuck your chest, yeah, I don't do that, so I don't really need that. Um, let's see. Adjustable arms. You can adjust them to multiple lengths. Uh, I, I've been more than happy with this thing. It is an absolute tank. Um, the first couple wears, it felt really bulky, uh, but that's just because my bower was really, really unprotected. Um, I tried putting that bower back on uh, a few weeks ago just to, just to see what it felt like. And it felt like I was wearing a t-shirt. I mean, it was useless. So this thing it has made me so happy, I can't even describe it. Everybody wants to see this, right? Uh, it's a jock. It's a bower reactor jock. Nothing special. Um, it works for me. It's the first one I own. Uh, it does the job. I'd like to get one of the Kevlar cups and put it in here, but... Um, Honestly, I've been dinged a few times, and it, it's been no problem, so I'm pretty happy with this thing. Next up, we have my knee pads. Uh, these are Paso second gen knee pads, um, and they're actually held together with a uh, Bond garter that I've stitched together so the elastic doesn't come apart. These are some of the most form-fitting knee pads I've ever seen. They're, they're incredible. The top piece is, is a little flat at first, but I wear socks over it, so it kind of compresses a little bit. Um, this big strap at the bottom that goes under the knee, uh, above the calf, that keeps it from sliding. I, I, I'm honestly not sure if I even need the garters, um, because I've never had any issue with them sliding, but I decided I was used to them from my old knee pads, so I just left them on there. But these things are beautiful. They, they have four straps. Um, they're fully adjustable to your knee. Um, I don't have the model that actually has Maltese gel in the knee area, but um, that's an upgrade that I plan on making fairly soon. I really can't say enough good things about these. I've been hit a lower thigh just above the knee uh, quite a number of times thanks to my narrow butterfly, and these have been fantastic every time. Moving on to the blocker. Again, Brian's S series. Uh, fantastic blocker for the, for the price. Uh, for the skill level that I play at, um, it's done the job. Again, uh, white, black, silver that's been pad wrapped with red. Um, the pad wrap has held up really well. Um, it's, it's done a great job. The pad wrap looks pretty good still. Um, 
the only real issue I have with this blocker, other than it being a little bit thin, so I do feel some of the harder shots. Uh, they don't hurt, but I definitely feel it. It's just where the pinky finger goes. Um, you can see that there's supposed to be some protection here for the pinky finger, but it, it from day one, it's never sat where it's supposed to. So you can see where my pinky sits. That, that could be bad someday. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my, my new set. Uh, although I know the higher end Brian's are not like this at all. So um, this is really just an S series anomaly for Brian's. But they've done a great job with this thing. Um, you know, blocker's a blocker, right? Moving on to the catch glove. Again, Brian's S series, pad wrapped with red. Uh, I've replaced the uh, lacing, the white lacing that came with it with some red, just to, again to go with my jerseys. Um, I felt some stingers with this thing, I'm not gonna lie. It's not as protective as I would like, but this thing has been great. Um, it, the, the closure is fantastic. Um, you know, I think my glove is probably the, the best aspect of my goaltending, as poor as it is. Um, and I think it's partly because of the, having such a, a great glove that I can close easily, um, that's very comfortable for me, and I feel really good wearing it. So um, no complaints at all with the glove, other than a little bit of stingers. But I am looking forward to my new glove, that's for sure. Face layer, uh, I wear Bauer, I don't know if you can see that, black shirt, um, I do wear a Bauer uh, 37.5 uh, shirt and long pants, um, I wasn't sure about the height of the fabric as far as its moisture wicking properties, but I've worn both the 37.5 and the non 37.5 and it's significantly cooler when wearing this. Um, and the more skin that's covered, the better, of course, for moisture wicking reasons. Um, so there's my shirt. The pants themselves, these aren't the goalie specific pants. These are actually player pants that I've cut the jock out of um, because I wanted the I wanted the Velcro on the legs for my socks, but I didn't want the goalie knee pads, uh, mostly because of that. And which means that the knee pads themselves would probably be in the wrong place considering I'm wearing uh, size lar extra large uh, pants. So the socks I wear, these are Swiftwick Aspire 5s. Um, nothing special about them. Uh, really the only reason that I really use these for goalie is because of the low cut of the boot. These actually have a, a double thickness cuff um, above the ankle. So um, that's really great for, you know, the, with how low cut the goalie skates are. They might have a tendency to rub on your ankle a little bit, um, so this helps protect that. I don't know if I really need that, but um, in theory it's great, and these are great socks anyway, so that's what I wear there. For my socks that I wear um, over top of my knee pads, uh, these are, again, to go with the jerseys, these are Chicago striped red. Um, they are the Pro Stock Reebok, um, nice and thick. They fixed it a few times here and there where there's been cuts. Um, but these things are great. Uh, they hold up well, uh, much thicker, uh, better fabric than, than the Reebok uh, retail models. They're also a little bit taller, which I don't typically care for when it comes to my player socks. But for my goalie socks, I actually like to put these on and then pull the sock down over top of my laces um, just, so, just to make sure they're not in the way. So having them a little long is actually a good thing for me. And then, last but not least, uh, this is actually a head racquetball glove. Um, I needed something with a little bit of, a um, little bit of more grip. So I got this glove. Um, I tried a, a baseball glove, a golf glove. I tried a lot of things, and it turns out this racquetball glove is probably the thinnest, uh, most grippy glove that I've I've tried. You can see the the grip patterns on the palm. Um, and then this black mesh area here, so there's lots of good ventilation there as well. So this thing has been amazing for grip under my glove. So that's it for what's in my bag. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some separate review videos that are a little more in depth on, on the pads and the Paso chest protector and knee pads. Uh, but for now, that's it. So I hope this was informative. Uh, thanks for watching.